the Philippines has a large and robust media that is considered to be one of the freest in ASEAN. But despite the vitality of the media, most of the outlets are owned and controlled by powerful and prominent families and businesses. These are family corporations owning the media uh, and therefore uh, you would have people there trying to influence these families or being good terms with them so that they will not be saying things against you. But violence against the media is an alarming problem with the Philippines being ranked amongst the worst countries for the killing of journalists. So when there is conflict of interest with the private business of the corporation that owns the publication, that's where the threat comes in. And the journalists would uh, have a tendency, tendency to uh, expose some of the problems of this private corporation. There are more than 600 radio stations. Actually in the Philippines, community radio or radio itself is the medium that has penetrated most in, the, in terms of population. Uh, in, in the Philippines, it's, like, uh, it's even more popular than television. Internet penetration is 46% and smartphone ownership is 55%. 47% of the population are active social media users. Facebook is the most used social media network with 26% of users. If you look at the case of the Philippines, so what's interesting here was that during the colonial period, when it was under Spain, uh, the media was there, and there is this media, there was like a, a press against Spain, uh, an underground movement against Spain. Uh, the same thing happened uh, against when we were colonized by the Americans and the Japanese. So there is a tradition of a critical media in, in the Philippines, and that's why, uh, you know, uh, when it gained independence, uh, it was already established that the media had to be independent of government, had to be critical of government, and therefore when the Americans were teaching uh, what, uh, a, a, what uh, an independent media should be, it was well accepted. Investigative journalism has become very, very popular in the Philippines. Uh, I would say starting in the early 90s up to the present, it has actually played a big role in discovering and un un uh, unearthing some forms of corruption in government. So students tend to be more interested in, this, in investigative journalism. Even though the media in the Philippines is heavily influenced by private ownership of the media, there is a split between freedom of communication and private control. With the boom of the internet and social media, the opportunity for freer expression and the truth is a new frontier for the Philippines and the future of breaking free from private media ownership.